Hi, I'm Sean Rice from the international tour of the Adams Family, and welcome to Gaming Out of Suitcases. This week, I'll be bringing you an old-time classic from Twilight Creations. Zombies! Ah! I picked this one because it's easy to travel. Everything you need fits into this little travel case. It's actually a pencil box that I picked up at the dollar store. You can play it normally as a two to six person game or tweak it slightly to make it a fun solo game. Today I'll give you an overview of the regular game and on Wednesday I'll be giving you a playthrough of the solo version. In ZOMBIES! You and five of your friends find yourself in the middle of a town square of a town filled with zombies. You can either kill 25 zombies or find your way to the helipad before one of your friends does and leaves you for the all you can eat zombie buffet. Yes, there's a lot of dice rolling. Yes, you'll be forced to start over again and again and lose your zombie trophies. Yes, you'll find yourself backed into a corner surrounded by the undead. But you'll also be a big pain in the butt to your friends, and if you can get to the helipad first and get out, it'll all be worth it. One of the things about zombies that makes it so fun is that it's always different. Every turn you put down a different part of the city, revealing a new area, different med packs, and bullets to be found, and of course, ZOMBIES! Somewhere in the bottom half of the stack lies the helipad. Once it's found, it becomes a race to get there first. Alive. Each turn, you'll get a chance to move around the revealed parts of the city and battle with zombies, using dice to see if you kill the zombies or if they kill you. Now, luckily, you've got hearts and you've got bullets to give you extra die rolls. You're also given action cards, which can either help you or hurt your friends. They could be weapons like this chainsaw, movement bonuses, or ways to sabotage your friends. Every time you kill a zombie, you get to take it as a trophy. If you kill 25, then you don't even have to look for the helipad. But if you lose all of your hearts, then you have to start over in the center of town square and lose half of your zombie trophies. ZOMBIES is a lot of fun. And I don't just mean saying the title either. There are also tons of expansions for it out there where you can add glow-in-the-dark radioactive zombies, zombie dogs, new locations where you can explore the insides of buildings like schools and malls and police stations in more depth. There's even a companion piece called HUMANS where you play the zombies trying to survive when the humans fight back. To see more about ZOMBIES, that never gets old. And pick up a copy for yourself, visit Twilight Creations website at www.twilightcreationsinc.com. Also, don't forget to come back on Wednesday and see ZOMBIES as a solo game. If you liked what you saw here today, please comment, share, like, and subscribe. Till next time. Brains!